Okay, so speed changes to your clips. Now this is something I use all the time. You may want to stretch your clip to make it longer, or you may want to squeeze it down to make it shorter. And um, obviously if you make a clip shorter, it'll play faster. If you make it longer, it'll play slower. The example I want to show here, and I'll start again with Vegas, is that if you watch this, this is quite a long clip, and it, you know, I'm gonna speed it up here, but it goes around the, um, the gazebo here in my local park, and it goes fairly slow. But if I wanted to say, speed up this in the middle here, what I could do is I could take two splits, and you'll have seen this before in drone footages, so and you watch it sort of go away here, and take this section here. Now, if I just want to speed this up, I hit control on the keyboard, I grab the end of the clip, and I should make this a bit more obvious, if I drag this out and drag this out. Now, if I hit control on the keyboard, you see that time stretch comes up, and you can stretch or compress this clip. Uh, as much as you like. Now, let's say I want to just compress this to being, uh, let's say negative 10 seconds of what it was. That's close enough. Um, then you'll see here that the video is playing through faster now. Now, for me, that's still not quite fast enough for what we're trying to do. So let's see if I can squeeze that down some more. Let's see how that looks now. Now that's much better because we want these things to be fast. So we take that time stretch video or compressed video really and we pop it back in, back in the middle of these other two videos and look at the effect that you get. So you've got the nice slow start. It speeds up whirls round and slows down at the end. You'll have seen this a number of times in drone videos um, and that's exactly how they do it. Let me show you how to do the same thing in DaVinci Resolve. So in DaVinci Resolve, uh, you come in here, again we'll take our two clips, so we'll press S, and about S, and we'll move these away. Oh, I just lost my transition. Ah, see, this is where it's a little bit more problematic in DaVinci Resolve to, to move your, your clips about. Now, you can't just grab the end and press control. That doesn't work in DaVinci Resolve. What you have to do is press control and R, and you get into the speed change window. Again, I recommend mapping a lot of these things if you've got a stream deck or something, because I, I, do, I go very quickly on this, but control and R brings up the speed change window. And then what you can do is you can grab it from the top, from the right hand side, and you can squeeze it down. Now you can see how the arrows go closer together, um, and it tells you the speed increase as a percentage. Now this will pretty much let you go as fast as you want. So I'm going to have to take a guesstimate here and see that we want to play this at about, let's say, 500% speed. Now, if I press Ctrl and R again on that selected clip, that will go down. And if I now snap it back together with the other videos and play this, you'll see how this looks. So again, the video is sped up and slows down at the end. So that's how you do speed changes in DaVinci Resolve.